Welcome to Devotions from Israel, a five-minute word of encouragement. Today's passage is Judges chapter 13 through 16. There is a man named Samson that's mentioned in Judges chapter 13 through 16. Many of us know that Samson was a strong man, although he was far from perfect. Yet God would use him over the course of 20 years to help protect the Israelites from the Philistines. According to the Philistines, uh, this Samson was a thorn in the side, if you will. Even though Samson married two Philistine women, the first is an unnamed woman from Timnah, only a few miles west of Zorah, where Samson grew up. The other wife, her name was Delilah. She was the one who found out about the secret of his strength. So how in the world does Samson make what we call the Hall of Faith in Hebrews chapter 11 being so imperfect, yet a strong man who was used by God to help deliver the Israelites from the Philistines? Well, over the course of Samson's life, I think he probably I learned of a lot of life lessons along the way. Even though he was impulsive, he did things in his own way. Of course, he exhibited his strength in remarkable ways. Everyone took notice. However, at the end of his life, we read these words from Judges chapter 16. Then Samson called the Lord and said, O Lord God, please remember me and please strengthen me only this once, O God, that I may be avenged on the Philistines for my two eyes. Samson, at the end of his life, standing there in this temple, in Gaza, one of the five Philistine cities, was calling upon God. I think Samson had a relationship with God. He knew that God equipped him and was the one who strengthened him. And now this one last request is made of God. Samson now is humbly about to face death. And yet he knew his role his role as a leader of the Israelites. God used him even in his imperfection. Similar to how God can use us in our imperfection. In an upcoming book that I am authoring, let me just share with you a few lines from this new book that I think summarizes our perspective on Samson, and perhaps even giving us some ideas for how we ought to live our lives as well in relationship to God's purpose for us. This is what I wrote. Any genuine connection with God must include a sense of humility. Samson may have learned humility during those dark days of captivity among the Philistines. Needing the help of a small boy to guide him to the temple pillar, Samson acknowledged that his power and strength came from God. Only through God's undeserved favor would Samson redeem his broken life, and he used this to benefit 
the nation of Israel. He embraced God's purpose, which would be accomplished through his death. Samson prayed, God, give me strength to finish what you gave me to do. Genuine growth and a strong faith means being honest with our tendency to be impulsive, compromising, and proud in our relationship with God. This requires walking in the strength of God and not in our own strength. We grow in our walk with God when we pray, God, I know that I am not living a perfect life, but use me for your purpose. I'm willing to lose my life for yours. Walking in the strength of God and not in our own power results in a deepened desire to accomplish God's purpose. Like Samson, our walk is not perfect, yet God has given us a purpose to fulfill. Truth is, when we allow our faith to our life to be defined by God, we find the very purpose for which we were created. May we fulfill God's purpose faithfully. So we learn these lessons from Samson, a strong and mighty man, used of God. We too are called by God to serve him. So find encouragement in those moments of humility today as we ask God to strengthen us to serve him. Until next time, Shalom.